Someone just asked uh, for some suggestions about supports, and there's a couple of things you need to know regarding supports. Uh, first off, with a model like this, you could outright just like build it flat on the plate. Uh, that would not necessarily work, obviously, if you had a bigger model, like one this big, you can outright not use that strategy. But even if it does fit on the plate, um, there's a good reason why you wouldn't want to do that is because there's elephant foot. Uh, elephant foot is the bottom layers, the very first couple layers. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure what my settings are currently. My, def my settings right now, my bottom five layers uh, have an extra long exposure time. Uh, and because of that, they tend to bleed and uh, it's they get something called elephant foot where they kind of like bow out on the bottom kind of like a an elephant's foot um and uh there's a couple ways to mitigate that uh one way is to just uh sand it another way is to modify your model such that it actually tapers in uh so therefore when the elephant happens uh, elephant foot happens that when it gets bigger it actually ends up being how you want it to be in the first place so you can edit the model you can sand the model uh there's a couple other um tricks you can do um so that's one thing you can do you can just outright print it flat uh so the other idea is to um add supports um and the first thing i want to show what you definitely do not want to be doing is something like this where i add supports and you see there are supports, but in between the supports, there is, well, let's think about how it's actually building this model. The very first thing it does, again, this, let's say this is our design. Let's say this is what it's gonna build, perfectly flat like this. The very first thing it's going to do is it's going to put the first, however many uh, layers you have of starting, uh, and you want those nice to be nice and strong, and you want those to adhere to your build plate. It's a constant tug of war between the build plate and adhering towards the build plate and uh, the uh, forces pulling from the FEP. You, the FEP is designed to be uh, nice and slippery and uh, very low uh, adherence, uh, adhering to it, um, but it's 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 not always going to pull off freely as you will see on failed prints but anyway uh think about it in terms of how it builds first the bottom layer and then it makes it thicker and thicker and now it's starting to do the supports and now it's starting to do the supports and then once you get to this place suddenly it's trying to build Zoom in over here. It's trying to build, let's say, these areas between. If you can see these areas between. These areas between, it's starting to build there, but there's nothing holding it up. It, there's nothing holding it up right there. So you'll have, it's kind of like bridging. Uh, I don't know if they use that term for resin printing, but it, it, you don't want that uh, because there's this area right here, nothing is supporting it. I mean, you could try to like go crazy and add a bunch of, supports between, but no matter what you do, you're always going to have some messed up, not smooth surface if you try to have a surface parallel to your build plate like that. So one strategy you can do, let me remove these supports. One strategy you could do is to angle your um, angle like this, but there's a problem with this too. We actually still have that same problem, just to a much less extent. If we look at the bottom row, we still have this whole bottom section over here. And between these, uh, between these two supports, you're trying to build like, if we go like right, building support supports right here, right here. You look right here at this point in time. At this point in time, it's trying to build this area right here. If I can get a good angle at it. It's trying to build this area right here, but there's nothing supporting it. 
Uh, so it's it's going to look wonky. I mean, you could try to just add supports and add supports all, as, as much as you can. But again, it's the same exact problem that we had before, except uh, instead of all over the face, it's just at, at this one part that's parallel. So one simple solution to that would be to um, have it angled slightly in this direction. So you never have a bit of an angle. You probably don't even need that much angle, uh, but you have a some angle here. So now, instead of having nothing to build off of, this needs a support right here, but then the area next to it builds off of the adjacent area. And the area next to that builds off the adjacent area and then so on as we go up and up and we can see Let's see, um, let's see, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna manually, yeah, I guess this, I think it's gonna add some crazy support here that would not work. Let me just see what this looks like. Oh, I guess so. Anyway, um, let me manually add supports just to show the idea I'm talking about. So if you have one support like this, in theory, everything would be supported because if we have, go back to the very beginning, we have this one square and there's the support going up and that's where it first starts. In this section over here that is moving off, that is supported by the stuff under it. So here, so this is supporting here, which is supporting here, which is supporting here, which is supporting here, which is supporting here, is supporting here and all the way up as it builds. So the bottom layers are supporting the top layers. As long as you don't do uh, too much of an angle, you can have it go from a small point to bigger and bigger and bigger. You wouldn't want to just have a single support there because that would be bad for other reasons. Uh, it would it would it would like fall over. So as far as like support, this would be supported as far as you wouldn't have any islands, but this would not hold up because there's other stresses going on here. Uh, so you would have to add a bunch of other supports and the cheetah box uh, supports are in my experience pretty good. Um, you just uh, oftentimes, I just like to add additional supports to them. But now if you look at something like this, as it builds, it's supported and supported and supported and supported. And each time as it goes up and up and up and up and up, it's always being supported and additional supports are being added as they are needed. It's also particularly important to pay attention to the first, uh, first layer of supports. We go down, you can see what I'm talking about here. Over here, I like to add extra supports when we're first starting out. So I would personally add one support here and one support here, because I wanna make sure at, go at this point in time, at that point in time, I want a really nice secure support from below. And then as time goes on, we can start getting supported by these other supports. When you're uh, designing supports, you all have to think about when it, the support is first hitting it, when the first is uh, when the support is first coming and contacting it. What supports, um, what forces are at play at, at each given moment? So let me show uh, an example of what I'm talking about. Okay, so I just whipped up some random shape. Uh, in Blender, just to point out some ideas here. So we got a couple things that happen. So let's say this is the shape you wanted to print. Uh, again, we got the force coming from the build plate right here. In this case, it's if you, in this orientation, it would be a small uh, connection to the plate, which would not be good because where the FEP is uh, would be a very large connection. So in this case, we would have a strong pull from the FEP versus a weak pull from the plate, something like this, uh, even though it is supported in this orientation, uh, you, you wouldn't have islands, uh, this would uh, not work because the, either the force uh, pull from the FEP is going to pull it off 
or it also would encounter torques. Oh, when you're supported on one side, you got to think about uh, torques and uh, leverage, and um, you have to counteract those. So uh, also you need to